All right, guys, welcome back to the Kazakh Gaming. Happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating Thanksgiving. If not, that's okay. I hope I hope you guys are having a good Thursday. I got a good news for you today. We got another update for Silica, and that's going to be applying towards the beta branch of the game. And there's quite a few fun changes, and I think you guys are going to be excited to see them. Now, this um, update is Silica update 0.8.12. And it is live right now on the beta. And I'm gonna show you the patch notes for this right now on the screen. And then I'll put them also in the description for you guys to take a look as well. And I will kind of go over them as well a little bit. And we and I also gonna include them in my description. So here are the patch notes. If you guys wanna kind of pause the screen and read them over, and then I'll just read them off for you as well more. And we got to take a look at some of this stuff in game because I do want to show you guys some of the footage from here so you can kind of see the difference if you've been playing recently quite a bit. And the very first change that we have right now in the game is uh, distance objects hidden maximum two kilometers to save performance on large maps. Now that feature is experimental right now. Uh, Drum said that he would like to see if that's going to help improve the performance of the game and hopefully we're not going to see the huge dips in the FPS drop as we've seen in some of the uh, previous builds of the game. And so far from what I've seen, I'm actually okay with that. It's not as bad. You might not see as many rocks in the distance like you can see now, and you can almost kind of see across the entire map. So this update is mostly for the bigger maps. And the more we're gonna test it out, we'll see how that goes. And if it does work out well, we're gonna end up hopefully seeing it uh, going live on the main side of the game. Uh, the next couple changes that we got are a lot of them were uh, basically to the infantry of the human side and a lot of them seen reduced in cost and their spread of their bullets got reduced by 50%. And that's including scouts, riflemen, and the commandos. And their uh, their cost went down to build as well. Uh, their build time went down as well. And one of the things that they didn't get a big change was the uh, cap value. Now, if you're not familiar with the cap value, what it is is that it, if you're playing not on the unlimited cap, unicap on the servers, you end up seeing these numbers on your top left corner. And that re that's what reflects uh, your cap unit, basically. And the, the value of your units. And as you can see right now, um, I clicked on a barracks and you see that the scout is at one, rifleman is at two. So that actually, I uh, believe that actually went down. Let me double check. No, I don't know. Actually, I think the rifleman is still the same. Mostly, the, the biggest change that we've seen is that the heavy cap value went from 4 to 5. The commandos went from 5 to 10. And marksmen went from 3 to 20. Now, as you can tell, that's a pretty big change. Considering that we have only a cap. And I believe I have a set right now on medium. The infantry cap right now is at 60. So, that means that you can only build 3 marksmen and i don't know how i feel about that change considering that a lot of the servers especially the more you're going to be playing on the public servers and dedicated servers later on you're probably going to see unlimited cap now in my opinion it might be a significant change for some people i do think that and it's not a hundred percent uh confirmed i feel like that setting the unicap does uh, increase your performance and you're not going to be seeing as high of a FPS drop but it's kind of it still needs more testing because a lot of the servers are running uh, unlimited cap for the units uh, we also got some changes to the uh, heavy armored car it cost went down from uh, 1200 to 1100 and uh, the time went down by 5 seconds and the speed went up uh, from 11 meters per second to 13 meters per second. So it's a slight buff to the vehicle. So that's kind of, yeah, it's not a lot, but it, it's it's helpful for the units because as everybody knows right now, aliens are very powerful in this game. And uh, the next thing we got is heavy quad build time went from 70 to 50. Uh, the, the car speed went from 50 meters to 20 meters per second. And the muzzle spread went from one degree 
to 0 0.7 degrees so it's a very uh, it's about what i would say uh 30 percent buff to uh its spread now the hover tank gust the cost went down by 200 and the hover build time went down by 30 seconds as well so i do like the change that means that the humans can start building tanks early on and we should not we kind of have to wait too long for them to construct we can actually get them going a lot sooner in the game the next change that we've seen was the light armored car build time went down but from 95 seconds to 60 seconds now that's a pretty big uh, reduction in the build time so we should be able to build and see the light cars more often their speed went from 13 meters per second to 16 and their build time uh for the light quads went down from 50 seconds to 35 and their spread went down as well from 0 0.7 to 0 0.4 so i do like that change i believe that the light quads gonna be more viable and a little bit more accurate so i'm very excited for that one the next one uh we got was the railgun tank cost went up from 26 to 2800 and uh post tank cost went down from 24 to 1800 and another goal change about the post tank is that its speed went up from 10 meters to 13 meters and i believe there was another change about its spread i'd have to double check with that but i don't think so really got tank cost from 216 okay no i don't, I don't think that we have that post tank cost from 24. Okay, nope. Now, another couple changes that we got in the game is we got bombers now got increase in health. They went up from 1600 to uh, 2400 health. Now, I do like that because that's basically 50% health. From my previous experience, bombers did die quite fast from even simple units as the um, simple units like. Uh, the wasp and they could just land on a bomber and then you could really shake them off and they would die really quick uh the next thing we've seen the heavy turret health went down from sixteen thousand to twelve thousand. now that's a pretty decent nerf to the heavy turret so i don't know how i feel about that we'll have to see how that goes but and there also the muzzle spread from went down from 0 0.5 to 0 0.35 as well Harvester turret muzzle spread went down from uh, 1.5 degrees to 1 uh, degree and their pitch down max went from 25 degrees to 15 degrees. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that means that the turrets are not going to be able to aim down as far. So their pitch went down basically by 10 degrees, so they can't aim down as far. And the same goes for the outpost, turret pitch down max from 25 degrees to 15 degrees. So. I mean, that's going to be an interesting change. Another thing also, too, if you look at the screen right now, uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to grab um, my commando. Commando's now... Oh, boy, it's a nighttime. It looks like I picked the wrong time to show it to you guys. The commando's actually received um, a smaller... Sub oh, maybe that was a rifleman. So I'll show you this, too. So, like, as you can see, it's a little bit of tighter spread now on uh commandos and it doesn't go as all over the place i'm also shooting it pretty far but you should be have a easier time to actually shoot things at, at a distance and hopefully they're going to be more viable and the next thing we've seen it was the rifleman so the rifleman's actually got their uh red dot in the middle of their scope is actually the dot is smaller and the spread is a lot tighter so I'm very excited for this change. It shouldn't be kind of taking the whole entire screen for you. And you should be able to hit the targets from uh, farther away. So I do like that change. Now, next thing we got is we're going to take a look at the aliens. Aliens got another change too. But one of the changes that I honestly think was a very good change, the nodes for the aliens got their health reduced from 2,000 to 500 so that's basically one fourth of the health pool that they had from pre uh, previously so i'm gonna spawn this and i'm gonna show you uh how quickly that is let's just take a control of this um node right here 
I'm sorry it's the nighttime. I should have switched it to the daytime. So really three hits from a crab and it's dead. And I tested in a rifleman and that was extremely fast too. So, and that's the change that I was really looking forward to. And I've been asking personally myself for a while. I felt like the notes and the, the aliens commander is able to spread out so far and the infantry did so little damage, including the quads were taking a long time to kill those nodes that the alien commander could just spread them out way too quickly without us being able to stop them. And I think it's a very good change. I'm very excited for that one. The next thing that the, guy, the aliens got in nerf to was their hive spire and thorn spire. Their health pooling got decreased by 50% from 10,000 to 5,000. So that I do like the change. Uh, same goes for that, you know, alien commanders would end up spamming a lot of them, and they also were kind of hard to kill for the infantry, so that makes the humans' infantry more valuable now at defending and attacking alien um, outposts and their, uh, their base. So hopefully we will see, hopefully we will see um, more... Uh, players actually being able to aggressively attack and not constantly be in the defenses. So with that said, let's go to the next thing. We are gonna have the uh, probably the one of the more exciting parts is that I'm sure that a lot of you guys are gonna be happy to see wasp cost went down from. I'm sorry, wasp cost got increased from 180 to 200, and you can only build them now from tech two of the cortex, not tech one. So as you know, a lot of the aliens are um, spawning as, a lot of the aliens spawn as a wasp as soon as they become available. And so we shouldn't see as a, the early wasp rush like we normally see it. And also, I don't know if I mentioned that early, the rifleman's also now uh, available to the human players to respawn as soon as they're um, able to be constructed. So players can, instead of spawn, spawning as a scout, they're gonna be spawning as a rifleman. Uh, the next thing we've seen was um, the dragonflies. Now, guys, they got their projectile speed increased from 200 to 800. So they're going to be flying pretty much four times more, right? Yes, it's from 200 to 800. And that's, that's a significant boost to their projectiles. However, they got their projectile lifespan went down from 7 seconds to 0 0.7 seconds. That means that you can't really shoot and try to snipe the buildings from a mile away. And if you look at it in the meters, that went down from 1,400 meters to 560 meters. So that's a pretty significant change. We're talking about an almost a down, you know, to one third of what it used to be. And their um, health went down from 400 to 300. Overall, I think that that's a good change. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much that's all the changes that we've got so far. And overall, I do think that these are good changes. I am excited to test them out more in the game. And hopefully, people are gonna enjoy it as well. I'm very excited to see how the Dragonfly is gonna paint out and I'm more excited to play as the lighter uh, quads and heavy quad and the lighter armored vehicles as well. I want I would like to see that and how that's gonna affect early game for the human side. And overall, just nodes not being able to be so beefy and takes so long to kill them. I think that that's gonna be a good change. Hopefully that's not gonna nerf aliens too much but I think that we'll do a little bit more testing and we'll see how that goes. And we're definitely going to be leaving the feedback on the Discord. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave the like, hit the follow, hit the subscribe. And I guess see you around later.